Hi, I wanted to do a foundation tutorial for you and I've been meaning to do this for the longest time I just hadn't, haven't had the time Okay, so um, I start off with a clean moisturized face I let my moisturizer sink in while I do my eyes because I always do my eyes first um, I'm really heavy handed with my brushes and I get a ton of fallout so um, rather than kind of bearing the annoyance of um, having to clean up um, fallout from your foundation and your underlying concealer I just don't bother um, doing it the traditional way. I actually put my um, eye makeup on first and whatever falls out I just remove with a makeup wipe or a, um, some kind of a cotton pad soaked in a makeup remover and I don't have to worry about fallout at all. I just, I've just i been doing this for years and years and years. I, I can't really imagine doing it um, the other way around really um, by now. The brush that I'm going to use today is actually by Inglot. Um, Inglot is a Polish company so they're widely available in Poland but um, in recent years I've been really kind of branching out and I believe they're um, available in many many countries um, by now. In concept um, this brush is kind of um, a dupe for the MAC um, 187 brush. It's roughly the same density, well the MAC brush is a bit more denser, um, and definitely softer but actually I like the fact that this isn't as soft because um, it's just easier to work with. It's soft enough so that it doesn't scratch your face, but it's not. But it's not so soft that you can kind of um, um, spread the product out properly with it. So I really, really like this brush. I take the brush. I don't know why I keep patting it. I don't know. It's just nice, nice to the touch. Okay. Um, the first thing I do, because I actually like a really natural finish to my foundation, um, I'd much rather have kind of um, foundation where you can still kind of see the skin peeking through a bit than have like a face of makeup where you look like you kind of um, erased your face and painted it back on with foundation. The mask-like look, I absolutely abhor that look, so yeah. So the first thing I do is I actually spray it with um, vitamin E face spray which is like a holy grail product for me. I've talked about this in many videos. I love this product. I should actually do a holy grail video about this product. Basically, it's a moisturizing face spray, kind of like Fix Plus, but from the body shop. And I mix my two foundations of choice, which is Clinique Super Moisture and um, Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. I just use my hand as a palette. And believe it or not, this amount will actually allow me to cover my entire face. I might even have some um, leftover product on my hand after I finish, so yeah, it's 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 very effective. Um, it's a very effective brush to use for foundation, also because you kind of save up on product. So and then honestly, I just use um, the back, kind of the ferrule of my brush, the handle of my brush to kind of spread it on my hand. I use two colors, so I have to mix them together. And once I've got the product spread out on the back of my hand. That's when I actually cover all of the white bristles by just kind of tapping the brush onto my hand with the product and then I begin to stipple. Um, um, through trial and error I've actually found that um, this method works um, a lot better with liquid foundations than it does with um, just really creamy dense foundations. And that's when I just begin to stipple. I start with my cheeks because they're kind of my problem area and I just cover them with these little dots that I make with the brush. So this brush allows you to um, get a very even and very fine layer of product all over your face, which is exactly what I'm going for. I could kind of skip foundation on my forehead. It doesn't. It doesn't make a lot of sense to kind of um, put foundation on my forehead since I have bangs. But I'm just kind of. Um, I don't know. I can't. And once I'm done applying, kind of stippling on the foundation, that's when I actually use um, the same brush and the same white bristles to blend it in to my face. And since it's quite large and dense, I can cover um, a large area at once and it works really nicely. What I love about this method and this this type of a brush to apply foundation is that it doesn't leave any streaks. Yeah, the occasional hair that falls out is a bit annoying, but what are you going to do?
So I just kind of buff it in in round circular motions. Now you can see um, some of the redness is still peeking through. But I'd rather have a little bit of redness peeking through than have like a mask of makeup. So um, I still have a little bit of foundation left on my hand. So I'm just going to add a bit more where I need a bit more coverage. And buff it in. And my foundation is on. Um, I love the fact that it takes so little time. I have very little time now that I'm a mother, so um, it's a real savior to be able to use a um, brush that does it in so little time, and you don't have to kind of, you know, take a sponge and blend anything in because it doesn't leave any streaks. Um, the next thing I do is actually cover my under eye circles, and I have bluish circles. They're kind of really intensely blue. Um, to put on my concealer, I use um, a MAC 224 brush. Um, it's kind of a surprising choice for under eye concealer. It works really great though, so that's why I use it. Um, like my foundation brush, I first spritz it with um, a little bit of vitamin E face spray. And then I just use it with my concealer. I mix the two shades of concealer that I've got in my pot together. This is um, by Polidorf. It's in the color Sun and Earth. Um, I'd give it a good 3.5 stars out of 5. It's not perfect. I'm, I'm not going to repurchase it, um, I'm going to try something else next, but um, it works fine, just for every day. I wouldn't say it's kind of industrial strength, but it works okay just for every day. And then I just buff it into my eyes. I like using this brush because I feel that it really nicely covers the circles, and again, it doesn't leave any streaks. It really kind of buffs the, the um, concealer into my skin. It doesn't kind of wind up sitting on my skin. You can use less concealer with the same effect, so it's kind of you save up on product. And it gives an airbrushed finish, which I really, really like. And that's something that you really appreciate more once you get older. Set my foundation. I use Clinique Almost Powder Makeup. It's really finely milled and quite pigmented, so um, it does a great job at setting foundation and adding just a little bit more coverage um, over my redness. And I use it with their um, Clinique Powder Foundation Brush. I just kind of tap a bit onto the side of my brush, and um, yeah, just kind of. I love the fact that it doesn't leave any kind of um, a powdery effect on the skin, so it looks really natural. Now you might think that this color is a bit dark for me, um, but um, mineral powders um, tend to go lighter on the skin than they look in the pan, so it makes sense to buy um, a slightly darker color than you would imagine would be good for you. I use, a, um, I use a different product to set my um, concealer, under eye concealer, um, just because it's even more finely milled. And this is the Bare Essentials Mineral Veil in just the, um, the original kind of um, light version. And I use a brush by Inglot. This is um, a really huge blending brush <laughs> or um, a really small face powder brush. It's by Inglot, I really like it. So I just take a tiny little bit on the tip of the brush, tap off the excess and um, apply it under my eyes. I'm a precision freak so I really like using um, a smaller brush for hard to get areas. I also use it around my nose and my lips and any places where it's hard to get in with a bigger brush. And this is actually it for my foundation routine. Now, as you can see, a little bit of the redness is still peeking through, but um, honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, I'm not really looking for a kind of um, flawless, bulletproof makeup, which looks kind of photoshopped on completely, where it doesn't look like skin anymore. So I'd much rather have my skin just being kind of evened out with foundation and, um, and still looking natural than to have kind of, you know, perfect skin, but not have it look like skin anymore. So, yeah. That's just what I do. I hope this is useful in some way and um, I shall see you soon.